What's going on everyone, my name is Bits and welcome back to Tectonica, a game that you guys are very excited for and also some of you didn't even know that it was coming out or even existed. So if you're watching this episode right now, you are more than likely have seen episode 1 and if you haven't, I highly recommend to click this up in the top right hand corner which will take you to the start of the series. So last time we found Station Victor, which is a place that we put our milestones in, which we can see by going up to the computer up here and seeing our objective, which is iron ingot, we need to grab 500, and copper ingot, we need to grab 500. So we need to start a factory process, which is going to be the main premise of today. And once we complete that first objective, it's going to unlock this first section here, because as we can see, this is Victor, and this is going to be the stage one. And if we go through each one, we're going to unlock a lot more technology, which we're going to need cores, which are these down here, which we need to automate or handcraft, which more than likely we want to kind of automate uh, uh, to actually start unlocking this. Like we can see fast inserters, filter inserters. These are blanked right now because we cannot make them. But in the first episode, we worked around this station, which was Station Lima. And we started grabbing some iron over here, putting it into miners, putting it into grabbers, Grabbers put it onto the belts, work its way along, then these grabbers put it into these smelters, and then these grabbers from the smelters put it into this storage. And this makes iron ingots. And we've got another station over there, which is kind of making us some copper, and that was just to get us through the objectives in the station Lima for the tech tree in here. And as we can see, we completed all four stages, which is one, two, three, and four, but we did not unlock everything. For example, the two bell, we can see in here, we've got assemblers and bio bricks and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and yeah, so what we want to do now is if we open our journal and press J, we can kind of see some, you know, objectives we can kind of focus on. So we can see assembler orientation, the crank generator, power floors, and they'll, they'll all come up on the left hand side of the screen. So we can activate a crank generator technology in the tech tree, all this kind of stuff. And we can go back in here and we can hide all of that. So when we don't want to do it, so we can focus on one thing at a time. And the thing we are going to focus on is the main objective, which is to uh, grab the, I think it was the iron, right? Uh, so this one, we want to grab 500 iron ingots and we want to work on this one right here. So on the left hand side, the top one is the main objective to get to the next uh, milestone. And then the one underneath are kind of like semi ones. It's going to give us through some more tutorials about what to do and all this kind of stuff. So let's head back to our area over here, which is Station Victor. And we've got quite a bit of room. But just to let you guys know as well, I do stream over on Twitch. And we did stream this all of yesterday for about five hours, six hours, something in the lines of that. And if you... Uh, you know, unfortunately miss any of the live streams, I do have a VOD channel. And the VOD channel is basically that video, that live stream, all cut down into one hour segments. So right now there's five hours worth of gameplay up on that channel. So if you want to watch that, check the links in the description. But if you ever want to come and say hi to me live and just ask general questions and all that kind of stuff, um, come over to my Twitch streams and come and say hello. Most of you have probably said hello before. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on with the rest of today's video. So I want to start looking at this iron right here. Um, we've got some copper over there. We've got some limestone right here as well. And because I did obviously play that number of hours, I've kind of got a bit of general knowledge under my belt already and kind of have a bit of an understanding of what we kind of want to do today. We do have uh, on here, we do want to put down these power floors and these power floors uh, or as they describe, as soon as we put down some power on them, it will power everything that's on that floor. That's how power gets transmitted in this game. Um, but I believe there's some other stuff later on as well. I think actually before I put these power floors down, it'd probably be easier for me just to grab all of this biomass in case it gets deleted. Um, so we can utilize this for uh, power because obviously we need to make this into biomass for our uh, machines to consume as of now until we make our first power plant. Okay, we're nearly there. I'm just grabbing all of this. We can get in there. So we can't seem to be grab these ones. I don't know if that's just an issue, uh, a bug right now or not. But one thing I've noticed with the amount of plants I've been removing, it's getting a little bit darker and darker around here. It's a good job there's lights and we can actually make some lights. We can actually grab these, I believe. Can I actually scan these? I can. I'm actually grabbing some. And I can, I, sh I can place them as well. I can place them back down and put them onto a grid, and uh, which is pretty good. So I kind of light this area back up. And uh, yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is we've got our mole here. I want to expose all of, as much as iron as I can from this location. So let's kind of start mining away so we can see the full length of this iron. Actually, I think it's going back here, isn't it? It is going back there into the wall and is it going it's just going there so that's a very thin piece of iron 
It does look like it comes out a little bit thicker there, but this is going to be our starter base, so I'm not too much, um, not worried. The ores are depletable, so they will go over time. When I did the interview with the devs, they did state that it will take some time for us to actually extract it all, but I don't know they know who I'm speaking to. Well, who they're speaking to, because I will extract it all. They don't know this. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to start grabbing some miners. Actually, let's put the floor down. We have 250 uh, power floors here, and these power floors do uh, exactly as it says on the tin. Uh, they actually transfer power from Casting machines. Power floor. Power floor. Is that a long inserter right there? And from crank generators. It was. Cool. So we've got one out of two long inserter fragments. So if we find one more, we can actually unlock that within the tech tree and start using long inserters. Um, so I feel like I need to start... I've got loads of this power right now. It's not going to last long. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to... I've not unlocked floors yet, have I? Uh, um, what's it under? Okay, so we need base construction. Okay, so we're actually running low on the um, power floors right now, so let's try and make some, but we need to actually unlock it, which is going to require five cores, um, and we've got zero, so we need five of that. So let's try and get 15 so we can get the crank generators as well, because if we actually put the crank generators on the power floor, this whole floor will light up yellow, like on the grooves and stuff, and any items that require electricity will get powered on them floors. So let's go into our build mode here, and we can build one because we need copper wire. And for me to get copper wire, I need to go over to... Actually, no, we need mechanical parts. And mechanical parts need iron and copper. So we actually need to go back to uh, Station Lima and grab as much iron and copper from them storages as possible. Hopefully we have some in here. 207, 207. Uh, I've also noticed as well, if you ever want to notice what's in, because like if I press Alt, um, you can see they kind of light up like that, right? You see them flashing? It means they've activated. And because I pressed Alt, it's going to show the recipe that's going to create. But with storages, it doesn't show. But if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, it can, it can tell us whatever the first item is in this, this slot right here, it will appear in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen right now where it says container storage and it's showing how much iron we've got in there which to be honest we don't have much so what i might do is i might just quickly boot this back up again throw some fuel in here just to get some iron on the go and i might even do that with a copper because we are going to need that until i actually get it set back up over there so i need to kind of keep going backward and forward and keep collecting what we need to for over here so let's put some power into these and now that we've done that we can kind of see that this is making ingots that's making uh iron uh, cop sorry uh that's making copper ingots that's making copper ore and if i press alt we can kind of hide them but if you ever want to look at them you know right so let's see we can actually make 22 research cores right now so let's right click and make five five and five so that's going to make 15 all together we can see in the bottom right hand corner now they're being constructed and i do have a little room over here which we have a, like a couple that we did from last episode so i'm going to grab and place these in here until I put down the composer, uh, which we're going to put in the other room. Um, that needs to go there. This could take some time. I'll be back once this is done. <laughs> and there we go. Bloody hell. All right. So now we should have 15 cores. Si we've got 16. I did one more than I need to. So we're going to get basic uh, construction. We're going to unlock that. And we're going to unlock crank generators. Uh, just Asking to let you guys out. know as well. Oh. Crank generator. Oh. Activate with manual or automated rotation to produce electricity. Okay, so with this first series of this game, we're going to do multiple series of this. This first one is going to be not as jumpy. Um, so it's going to be very much, we're going to do like a walkthrough. So you, what you guys uh, see me doing is, you know, it's, we're just kind of going to take our time uh, with the builds and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a lot more slower paced than what future series will be. Um, so now that we've unlocked them, we need to start working on some flooring. Uh, and that's, I can only build 75 more. So let's just kind of grab as many as we can, get them being built, and we can automate these at some point. So let's grab our more f power floor in, and let's kind of expand this out as well. Local signal deciphered. Ingress AS2013. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Oh. We got a message. It's beeping. It's beeping. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Mind the voltage. A new location. AS. So now we've got this law, a, a new decipher signal. Is that that? Automating core placement. 
which we already know, generating electricity, which we're kind of working on, and automating assembly, which we're kind of doing as well. So assembly oriented scan, assembly find that's beginning the year thing, assemblies produce music. We've already done that. Let's kind of get automating the core plant, right? So let's start working and getting a crank, uh, crank power thing built which is going to be this. We can build one of them. So let's just put one down just so you can see what they look like. And then we're just going to place that here in the corner, just like that. And how these work is every couple of minutes, we need to crank it. So we're going to activate it. And we can see the floor now has got these yellow spots, meaning that this floor is powered. But that will only last for four minutes. But we can, over time, just as we're walking past it, just clicking this again. And, and this is only giving off 150 kilowatts. But do not worry. We can put more of these side by side. And don't worry on that because we don't need to activate them all individually. On, uh, well, because we can actually connect them up as well once we unlock the connect technology. But for now, we probably will have to activate them all single. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this wall here. I'm going to push this in like so because I want to extend this floor out here and I want to put a miner here. So let's kind of pick that light up uh, and then we're going to, let's just place you down here, place a light down there. Did I place that one there? I don't remember placing that one. I've got another one I can scan here. Let's just get rid of these and then we're going to remove you and put more lights down here. Kind of light up the area a little bit. Stick one next to that. Okay. And then I want to put a miner down. So how many miners have we got? We not, don't have any. So let's build two of them. Uh, and then we're going to place them down here. And then I want them to go from there to a, a smelter. So let's put that down there. And then I keep pressing middle mouse button to rotate. But I want to do that one there as well. So it's not right up against the iron, but these arms will actually like come out a little bit. And they'll actually... Um, kind of like extend towards the iron. Okay, so I'm kind of heading back right now because I need some more iron and copper because I need more materials to build that factory over there so we can kind of start, you know, moving and grooving. Okay, so let's grab some more copper and also some more iron so I can build more flooring, build more miners, and then I want to build two, four smelters, maybe? But we're also going to need some inserters, so let's build as many as we can of them, which I do need mechanical components, but we've got quite a bit what I need to put down there. So let's head back, place them, and then whilst I place them, hopefully we've got enough to be built down here. All right, so let's put a miner there, and hopefully I can put a miner there. I think I can. I wonder if that's going to reach. Let's... Oh, let's science that. Oh... It did extend. It is grabbing the iron. That's going to be interesting to see how it's going to grab that bit there as well. So let's put some in here. Some more in here. Hello. And then some more in there. So they're all grabbing iron right now. And then the smelters have been made. So we've got four of these. So we're going to put these directly. And we're just going to feed it one by one. So we're just going to grab that there. We're going to put you into that like so. Um, we've got one more as well. I think I need to put down my um, my floor in here. Even though this is not going to power, I do kind of still want to place like everything on foundations. Because... You know, it's just a force of habit right at this point now. Um, but at least we know there's a power down sound as well. And then what I want to do is I want to put another another one there. And then we're going to grab our inserter. And we're just going to grab you into there, you into there. Grab it into, directly into that one like that. We're not going to do a buffer for the iron ore. But I will do buffers for uh, items, for example. Um, because right now, uh, this is already storing a lot. I have a feeling, um, saying that though, I need to get fuel right. Let's let's split this fuel in half and throw you into there. Uh, grab you in half and put you into there and so on. And then once I've done that, at least I've got iron being made over here. But now it's time to kind of like do this, what we've done here, but with the copper over here. And it does allow me to grab some more of this biomass over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to get rid of this biomass. And I'm going to set up exactly what I've done there, but right here. Okay, so there we go. We've now got the four uh, miners are going for the copper with the grabber and the four smelters. Just like I said, we'll do over there. But what I want to do now is something we didn't actually do over there, in fact, was actually put this straight into storage. So... Um, one thing I've obviously I've noticed over at least I've got 12 hours into this game now at least um, but one thing I'm noticing is we can't determine exactly how much uh, they grab per minute how much these are making per minute all that kind of stuff so all the numerical values that we can that we normally have in kind of factory games we don't have in this yet 
Um, I do believe that will probably come in later down the line, but right now it's not there. So we kind of just have to wing it and look for like performance issues with our belts and lines. And as we can already see, these are pausing. So that is indicating to me that we are actually, you know, we don't have enough um, grabbers here. So we're going to put a second one down at each of these. And hopefully that helps uh, to keep these going consistent and keep the smelters alive. Um, because that looks like it's working. Uh, and yeah, it looks like it's all good. So I'm going to do that with the iron as well. But I want to put down the storage boxes here. And then we need to figure that out as well. Uh, if they're going to output in fast enough for it to keep being consistent. So we're going to put four storage containers down. We're going to get the grabbers in there as well. Like so. It might just be worth just to put them there anyway. Which I doubt it's going to need two. But they're there anyway, just in case, as a backup and a little bit of a buffer. So let's go and do that with the iron one as well. So let's put you there, you there, you there, you there. And then, bada, bing, bada, boom, Bob is your uncle. There we go. Just like that. So now we've got iron being done here, copper being done here, which means we don't need to run over to that other place anymore. Uh, we can actually just grab them from the storage. Uh, which is going to be nice. So for now, I'm just going to grab them from this. Uh, and then I'll see if we actually need the two um, grabbers on the output here. So we're just basically doing basic stuff right now. And by the looks of this, we don't. I can already tell that's grabbing one. It's not even grabbed another one after it's returned. So we are going to eliminate the actual uh, things here. And just for you guys know as well, if you've noticed I'm not mass deleting, that's because it's an upgrade tool. It's not something you get straight off the bat. So mass dismantling. So if I wanted to remove all of these foundations here, uh, I have to do them one by one until I unlock it, which is pretty early on in the game. To be honest, I did unlock it on the Twitch save. Uh, like I said, if you want to go and check out that five hour length of gameplay, check out my VOD channel and let's grab some you from there. Uh, are you guys empty now? It does seem like it. So I'm just going to remove one from each of here as well. So let's grab as much copper as we can, just like that. And now what? What do we need to look at next so we we could start looking at making wire wire is going to be another thing i'm starting to notice so uh, electrical components right here require a copper ingot and iron so we could go for that and start automating that and then the wire it just needs copper ingots like we could just like make a line of grabbers put it onto one belt here uh, or we could how many we could we just get an assembler let's let's actually put down oh, i didn't actually unlock the set assembler did i i didn't i need more cores i need seven more cores so let's put down five six seven Let's get that. I tell you what, let's actually build the core composer, which is this right here. Invalid placement. So this needs to be on an area that is quite large. So let's not put it down near the facility. Let's put it over near our uh, main building here. And let's put this on a powered floor as well. So let's grab this biomass like so and uh, like that. I don't think we need that much room, but we can see this inputs on this as well. So we can actually, you know, put our stuff into there um let's actually get a powered floor here we've got 105 left i could make some more uh that's not gonna be big enough is it you're not gonna be big enough um we need some more give me some more foundations and that's gonna take some time to obviously build so now that we put that there can i build this or do i need to oh, it looks like i need to make it wider i need to make it one more wide it seems let's kind of put that there and there we go. I saw it light up blue. There we go. So now we can put this in. So if I place that there, what I want to do is I want to grab a storage container, which I need to make one. Make one storage container. I've got myself a belt. Because what I started doing on the, um, the, the live stream, I started placing these one by one like this, right? And then uh, <laughs> one of the developers was like, Bits, stop being a spoon. Your, um, the best way to do it is to actually put a storage container down, for st for just for starters. Uh, oh my god, it's still building the foundations in it. So put this down here, and then put a grabber and take it straight into there. It'll automatically stack for you, because when it gets high, it gets pretty high. Right, so I can't put this directly here. I've got to put it a little bit further away, just because of this has got quite a large hitbox. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put like a, a grabber here, a grabber there to spit it that way, you to grab from there, and I'm going to have to put like a single belt there, like that, and then 
in here, I'm going to put the things. And then look at these. They're like little blueberry pancakes. And then they'll start snack it's, oh, stacking on here. But it needs power. So I need to get that grid, that grid, and that grid all connected together. So yeah, I need to maybe build this bridge uh, along here, which is what I'm going to do. You might notice some similarities with this playthrough and the Twitch playthrough. That's because obviously I'm learning I'm learning quicker on the other playthrough on the Twitch save. And then I'm bringing what I'm learning over to here onto YouTube so I can you guys uh, can learn a little bit and you have a bit more understanding. And it's a little bit better for the YouTube videos as well. So it's kind of... Uh, I need to take this down a level, don't I? So I need to build some stairs. Let's... Um, so just to let you guys know, power does not go f through the, uh, the stairs. Um, you have to connect a block to another block. So just a, just a bit of a warning for you. Um, I think that should be fine. I just want to build a bridge along here. Um, let's take it from this side, in fact. It'll be a lot easier for us to uh, kind of line up here like this. And then I can just take that over to there like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that a little bit further and then take you up. There is no vertical building as of yet. I have requested and told the devs about it, and there is a roadmap that is available to see, so I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but there is a base building uh, update coming out. I think it's going to be version 1.3. They've stated on the roadmap, uh, so hopefully that gets addressed in that one. So what's going to happen now is that's connected to that platform. So if we turn this on, it should power that over there. So activate crank, and I don't think it's powered. Maybe I need another crank generator uh, because how much the composers need is there a, i don't think i can see it in here can i no because i've not unlocked it so let's get a couple more uh crank generators down put these down and i will have to manually crank all of these until i actually get them connected <laughs> which is a pain trust me because i built i built about 20 on the live stream and oh boy i was cranking them all individually and chat was getting annoyed and so was i and then i found out there's a tech tree where you can actually connect these up it's so much easier is that going to be enough to actually use crank that one and there we go there we go you see the ball get built onto it now we can see the power being transferred through these and like i said it doesn't transfer through the the the, the floor uh, but we can see these being built onto here now and that'll just do its thing. It does have a limit, so we will need to put more down later on. So these are going to... These... I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I built... I automated these straight away. And, um... Oh boy, it did this fill up quick. Uh, it, it looks like a mushroom cloud. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screenshot on screen right now. And you can see what it looks like on the Twitch live stream. And it's bloody enormous. Um, so... Yeah, you can kind of tell how big that's going to go. So make sure you've got room or maybe even do a room, which I might do over there. I might dig a massive hole out of there and put them all into there, maybe. Uh, but that's kind of my plan right now. Right, so let's align a couple more of these cranks up right here. Um, and we've got a bit of a walkway here as well. And what I did on the... Uh, what else I did is I kind of put these like this. So Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Ooh. Counterintuition notice. Stairs cannot conduct electrical power. Yes, I've n I know that this. Was me. I made them put that warning in there. <laughs> and that was not how I phrased it. So I'm kind of doing this with the walkways. And it, it kind of makes them look like they've got railings and fences at the side. So it's kind of a design feature I've kind of like doing. Uh it kind of works. But what I'm doing as well is at like intervals, I'm kind of creating like blocks like this, and then I'm putting down uh, oh not like that because we can't build vertically yet it kind of driving me crazy and then putting these like here and then putting the uh the lights on them uh, and it works pretty well so you we can put like a light on there and i'm doing it like at the intervals we can create in pathways for us and all that kind of stuff and help us navigate around the factory um so we've got a message over here so let's go and read this signal triangulated new location added to hud exceptional dimensions Okay, so we've got two locations, but I don't want to go and visit them today. I think we're going to go and visit maybe AS or RH, um, maybe next time, because we've still got a couple of things to do, and I don't want to overflow you guys with too much information by grabbing some more objectives from there and more objectives from there and stuff. So let's crank this up as well. Crank all these, crank all these, and then eventually we will get batteries so this can start storing into some batteries instead of waiting every bloody five minutes. And just to let you guys know, if you think five minutes is not too much, in the early alpha, it was two minutes. These used to go every two minutes. And I still think that this needs to be upped, maybe to 10 minutes, to be honest. But uh, iron's good, copper's good. Okay, let's start taking this grid. Can I build some more foundations? I can. 
I'm just going to build as many as I can. Let's grab some more iron from here. I'm probably going to run out of biomass in a second as well. Then we're going to build the foundation along here like so. Put a couple of stairs down. Uh, Rotate stairs. Place you. No, no. It can be a bit finicky trying to place these, uh, I have to admit. And uh, let's grab you, take you along there and take you straight under to your power up there. Now, this whole section is powered as well. Cool. So now we've got a bit of a pathway to go along. We've got a bit of a section over here. We've got this over there and then this over here. So we're kind of doing pretty well so far. We've got some limestone here, but we're not going to use that just yet. What I actually want to do now is unlock the assembler. So we're going to activate that, which now we should be able to construct it, which does require 50 kilowatts of power. So we do need to keep an eye on our power. And one thing I do want to look at is, where is it? Energy. Um, we need to unlock the first milestone. Have we got enough? We've got 500 topper. Oh, can we unlock this next milestone? If we grab some more iron right now, if we have enough, we might be able to send this milestone off. Let's sort this real quick. Yeah, I've only got 474. We've got bang on 500, well, 509, I should say. So, okay, let's send this milestone off and unlock the next tier of technology because I would rather have them power there connected up. So let's head upstairs, head to our repair and send you and send you. Repair the terminal, terminal and bada bing. Barabosh, it's here unlocked. So now, if we look into e uh, here, crank connect. So we need ten more um, research. And power floors to use, Breaker. Okay. To plant matter frames, you'll need planters and threshers. Yes. And they only run on electricity. After you grow and thresh kindle vine, you'll need to thresh the kindle vine stems it produces a second time to turn them into plant matter fiber. And then you can either craft the plant matter frames by hand or build an assembler to do it for you twice as fast. Yep. And so that's a lot of new tech to activate. Yep. So if you haven't built a core composer yet, now is the time. Yep. So what she was saying back there is we can actually automate biomass. Yes, you heard it here first. You can now officially automate biomass. And what that will do is we put in some planters, we actually put our seeds in there, and then them seeds will grow into plants. Them plants will automatically uh, get outputted onto a belt, uh, which will go into a thresher, which will, that will turn into multiple items, um, which does have a byproduct. So that is our first byproduct machine, uh, which is an assembler, I think. Assembler sends out two items, if I'm not mistaken. Can we, uh, let's just build, let's build two of them real quick. Uh, why, I don't know why I come back up this way. Uh, but it's telling me to open the log. Um, all these messages here, you can replay all of these and stuff. Um, but let's have a look in our journal right now. We've got so many objectives we can kind of start working towards and completing and all that good stuff. So in fact, let's actually um, disable the repairing one and decipher the signals. Let's remove them because they're campaign ones, so signal restorations. These are kind of like them ones. They're kind of like for the campaign, uh, the story mode. So now that we've got an assembler, let's open it up and then you guys can see what it looks like. So you can see how many outputs you it's got. Try crafting a few bio bricks, Breaker. Ooh. They'll burn a lot longer than plant matter. And at some point, you'll probably want to set up a production line that can feed them directly into your machines. Long inserters might be your friends on that one. <laughs> So in here, we can choose what items we want to automate. We can even pickaxes if we want to, all that kind of good stuff. But we can see that we're going to obviously want to make um, the plant matter, right? Um, so the plant matter uh, is going to output uh, one item. Um, but if we look uh, in here, we can see seeds and everything as well. That's obviously from my inventory. Um, but we can change this uh, plant matter frames, um, which we're going to want to build as well. So it gets a little complicated straight from the get-go when you unlock that tier, because you're going to start working with uh, byproducts of uh, machines and the, the assembler and all that stuff. But first up, I want to kind of build some um, uh, wire. So we're going to put this directly here, just because I want to science this. I want to send copper straight into there, and I want you to make wire, right? So I want to see, uh, you're not receiving power. Oh, the cranks have gone off. <laughs> activate crank, activate crank, activate crank, activate crank, activate. <laughs> that's annoying. I'm sorry I did that. Um, okay, so that's now powered that. We are now making copper wire from there. But what I want to check is if this can actually hold up with this, uh, because this has got two in there right now. And this one line that's making in here is actually more than capable of maybe powering two. We can see this is halted right now, so it's holding because the items it's making. 
So it's going to make eight copper wire. I don't know if that's per minute. I, I don't I don't know what this is. We don't have the numerical values, like I said, just yet. But at least we're making wire. And I think we can actually put down two assemblers next to each other and get one line feeding them both. So I think that is what I might do. And we can see now the output is full up because I've not got the uh, output going anywhere. So let's extend these foundations here, just like that. I love how we can just quickly build foundation like this. It's super quick, super simple. Uh, and even though I built this here, this floor is powered. It's just not registering it's powered yet. So that's just a visual bug. So it is sure this is technically powered. It's just that the lights haven't come here yet because I've extended on. But if I reset the power, it will do. Um, so now that we've done that, let's extend this a little bit uh, further. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that assembler and I'm going to place a uh, I'm going to place it onto a belt straight away. I think um, belts are down here. Let's place that on a belt, and I want it to go that way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove you. I'm going to get my assembler. I'm going to place you there, and I'm going to place. Uh, I can't place you there. Let's just extend that out a bit more. Let's get an assembler. Let's get a grabber to grab what you need. We're going to put it on the end one like that, like that. And then we're going to get you to make wire. We're also going to get you to make wire. Um, I understand that this smelter and this miner not, might, might not produce enough copper right now, but we've got a bit of copper in there and it's going to allow me to do as much as intended. And then this, um, these outputs here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the copper down here. I'm not going to utilize these with assemblers because I need to output these as wires, which I'm going to do from uh, here, I think. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab myself a belt like this. I'm going to put you along here like that. And I want you to turn towards me like this. Do I do that, actually? Um, I might just... I think what might be easier, to be honest... He's just go straight for my storage. So let's build two more storages. I can't because I need iron and copper. So let's just grab you from there and crank these again. Otherwise, my assemblies aren't going to work. And then I'm going to grab some... Wait, did I just store copper in there? I did. I wanted to grab the iron. Grab the iron from these. Then make two storage containers. Place them down in front of the machines like so. Grab myself a U to pull yourself out of there. And then you to pull out of there. Just like that. So now we are storing the uh, copper and we've got enough room to send these ingots if we need to send them elsewhere if they are making too much for these two assemblers to actually manufacture the wires um so that being done um i love how we can um kind of see uh, the things being made here so we can see some copper wire being made there um, but that's just the default thing i actually thought at one point on the twitch streams that that was going to be showing the item it's actually making, but it's not. Because um, I figured when I built something else that was automating something else, it built copper wire as well. <laughs> what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to place down a second one here because I do think that these are too slow of pulling out the items because this is making uh, eight uh, per each cycle. Um, so I don't think this one is pulling out you know, eight. I think it's like six per cycle or something for this, maybe. So it's going to backlog and it will stall. So now that we've set a basic automation thing up, I think we're going to call this episode here. These are going to be very slow paced videos compared to my normal ones because I'm learning. You guys are learning. It's a new game and I think we need to slow the pace down like just like um, compared to my other videos, like I've stated, um, just because we need to take in the information a bit more and everything's new and I need to learn as well. So anyway, much love. I'll see you in another video where we're going to look into battery power. We're going to want to explore these symbols over here, these locations, and start working into processing and automating the good old blue ball. Well, purple balls, I should say, because there is blue balls. So let's go and uh, do that. So thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in another bloody video.